Hey guys, this video is regarding how does a live agent sees his screen while chatting with the user when the virtual agent actually uh, sends the request to uh, the live agent. Okay, and we can also directly interact with the live agent if we want. Okay, let's get started. I'm logged in as David Lu, who is, who is one of the members of the service desk. And I'm also logged in as an admin. Okay. So I will initiate my chat from here, contact support and I will directly connect, connect to the live agent. Okay, so a default message comes up to the admin and if I go to the connect toggle bar, I see there is one chat pending. Okay, so I will accept that and I can start chatting. Okay. So here you can see the name of the user and there is one another button to view documents so it actually shows you the chat history or if you have created an incident in this particular chat it will take you to that incident okay so let me click here and it has taken me to that chat queue history okay so this is the current chat queue history which is empty right now okay so there is the next uh, button is a new window okay and the another one is to minimize okay and the other one is to close so we'll go to the second button okay and when i click this it will open a new window for me and actually i see a very big screen and i see more options so i'm waiting it for to load okay so on the right hand side you can see there are four new buttons okay and a red button and session and I've got uh, live agent queue uh, support queue and the connect chat okay so we'll be using this one only okay and I will reply okay I am looking into the issue the admin will know okay David is looking into my issue and okay so i can go ahead and actually search the knowledge base and i can directly create an incident from here so let me try searching uh, from here okay pc is not working okay so it shows me a couple of articles which are related to pc is not working and when I go into the knowledge article, it shows me three more buttons. One is edit, one is to create an incident and one is to flag article. Okay. If I click create incident, it actually takes me to uh, a new window called uh, an incident to create a new record. So I can actually, uh, you know, put in the mandatory values and uh, create an incident or directly resolve from here. So that's a good thing let me go to the second button okay it shows me the members of this chat okay who are currently members of this chat okay we can actually see if we can add more members in here so we'll uh, take a look at that you know uh, in few seconds okay and then also I can add attachments in here and I can also have notification preferences okay so I can uh, uh, set my mobile notifications here and the email notifications and audio not uh, and audio no notification if some notification has arrived it will uh, you know make a sound okay and okay if we go here on the left side I we can see three horizontal lines okay and when I click here three buttons come up the first one is the transfer second one is the create incident and the third one is the end session so end session as the name says this red button and this one they will end the session and save the chat history okay transfer button will actually transfer uh, transfer your chat to some other person which you will select okay or to a support queue okay any other support queue if there is one okay 
and the third one is the create incident to create an incident directly from here okay let's try transferring this call to maybe Beth okay okay so David has actually uh, you know asked Beth to look into the issue and let's go back here so I'm logged in currently as admin here and let me go back here and I will actually you know impersonate as Beth and uh, what I will try is to accept the chat from here and we will see how these three can collaborate and actually work on the issue we go here and let me search Beth she's here okay so you can see uh, she can see her history as well and she can see she has got a request from David to uh, come into this chat and maybe help her uh, help her out okay so what she does is accepts the chat okay and Beth can see the history of chat so what's been going on and everything so let's go back to David's screen okay so uh, a pop-up comes up for David and it says like if you want to leave this chat or you want to stay in this chat so uh, he can select any one of that and he opts to stay in okay so now everyone is here okay and we can say thank you Beth for coming in okay and what Beth will say I know the issue okay that's fine and it has been resolved okay so David David is happy and you know so now the chat is with Beth and actually you know uh, David can only comment or make a work note on that but Beth is the one who can actually end the session now okay so I don't know if it's a shortcoming or what but uh, I think David should have been also be able to end the session so this is what it's pre present out of the box right now okay so let's try creating an incident from here you know she has worked on the issue and she has resolved that and she can actually you know minimize this window and say PC wasn't working okay and she will resolve this issue okay I have missed something okay so I have resolved this so I need to put in resolution info as well solve permanently completed maybe okay and I will resolve this now so if we, I maximize this window so it says uh, the incident link has been sent to everyone now and if I go to David's screen so you can see there is an incident here which has been resolved and if I log in as admin So when I log in as admin, I will be able to see the incident number. So here is it. So I, the end user gets a link as well to click on that and go to that particular incident. And Beth can actually, you know, end the session or as an end user, I can go and click on end conversation. And the conversation has been ended. Okay. So it says system admin has left the support session. Okay, so everything is finished now. 
and you can see actually on the bottom there is an incident number which came up in the chat window so that's one good thing as well so this is a demo of live agent so what he's able to do right now out of the box what are the functionalities present for him and i think it's very powerful and easy for end user to use this and for the live agent as well uh, please subscribe to my channel for the next videos on the virtual agents i think i'll be taking up scripting next time stay tuned thank you